Hello everyone, my name is Worry We Don't Care What My Name Is, and sorry for not keeping up with any updates on what's been going on in the wrestling world. Been a little preoccupied with a lot of things. But uh, I'm glad I waited because now I get to talk about some of the uh, news that's coming out from WWE, especially how we're not long from WrestleMania. We're, we're getting closer and closer to WrestleMania. I'm looking forward to it. So let's start off with the controversy, or at least as some people are saying it's not controversy, it's just a dumb mistake by WWE. I guess it depends how you look at it. So it was announced last week they were going to have another memorial battle royale. This time it was going to be for the fabulous Moolah. And it got a lot of controversy and negative response by a lot of people because we know that Fabulous Moolah is not a saint. She was a very horrible woman that used to do a lot of terrible things to other women. And it was a mistake by WWE to do that. Now, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, Moolah is a former multiple-time women's champion, both WWE and NWA. She's a Hall of Famer, even though she really doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, and was a very close friend to the McMahon family. However, she was also known to be a horrible woman who would train other women, not train them properly though, she would only train them to be, to make sure they were not better than her in the ring. She also took money out of their paychecks whenever she books them in uh, any promotion and also has them pay uh, rent on properties she owns, even uh, pay to train so not only do you have to pay to for training but also for rent and also to be booked in any promotion you wrestle that moolah will get you in so i mean that was bad but this this part is even worse she would even pimp out these women to promoters and to wrestlers and even drug them so they get raped so i mean if that's not enough to say she's a horrible evil woman that deserves to burn in hell then I don't know what will. And so WWE, you know, they got a lot of negative response, but they didn't do anything about it until the owners behind Snickers decided they were going to pull out their endorsement of WrestleMania. So WWE was quick to change their minds because of the risk of losing money from Snickers. They decided, okay, okay, we're going to pull the name out and we're just going to call it the WrestleMania women's battle royale better right yeah and stephanie went on twitter and thanked the fans for letting their voices out even though no it was because you guys were afraid to lose money so shut up uh this was a huge mistake by me and they're gonna have to live with this now because i mean seriously vince i know you're a stupid old fart but seriously did you think this was going to go over well with everyone? Did you really think the fans were going to be okay with you calling this match the, Memor the Fabulous Moolah Memorial Battle Royale? No. Andre, he was different. Okay, he was loved by everyone. Moolah, not even close. You may have loved Moolah, but not everyone else. So, And I know this had to have been a Vince thing. I seriously doubt Triple H would have gone along with it. I think he would have picked a much better name. Me, personally, I would have gone with the Mae Young or China Memorial Battle Royale. I would have gone with either one. I think I would have gone with China, though, just to see how it goes. And it would be a step to get her into the Hall of Fame. But, yeah, it was a mistake. They're going to have to live with it. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to get over it. All right. Uh, next bit of news. Actually, I think this is actually the biggest one. And that's the fact that Daniel Bryan has been medically cleared by WWE to return to in-ring action. Yes, you heard me right, folks. Daniel Bryan is now clear to wrestle again. And that leads to one possible conclusion. After what happened last week with Shane McMahon, it is now... Likely, we're going to have Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan against Kevin Owens and Zami Zayn, a tag team match. At least that's what I I believe. And you know what? This is actually is pretty cool news because in 2014, when Bryan got hurt, it slowed down his momentum. After winning the WWE World Title at WrestleMania, he got hurt a month later. 
This came around the time after his father passed away, so it was a really shitty luck for Brian. He was out for the rest of 2014, but he came back in 2015, and he won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. It was a step for him to get back at the main event. Unfortunately, days later, he got hurt. He was injured, so he had to vacate the Intercontinental title, and thus, he was gone for the rest of 2015. And when we got to 2016, Brian could not get medically cleared by WWE. Yet he got cleared by other doctors, but WWE did not want to take the risk with Brian's injuries. And he has had many injuries. Brian has a, a history of injuries, so WWE did not want to risk putting Brian back in the, in the ring and risk him getting hurt. So he was forced to retire. And I gotta say, I was very sad to, to see that. I I really didn't want Brian to retire, but I understood their decision. You don't want to risk your wrestler getting hurt. You don't want to risk him getting too injured again. It was not worth the risk, and they had to make their choice. And I am glad that he was able to stick around WWE and, you know, work with them as the GM. But now that he's medically cleared, it is likely we're going to get him at WrestleMania to team up with Shane to face Owens and Zami. And I'm sure this is good news for Nakamura, who's always wanted to face Brian in, at WWE. Now he's got that chance. Hopefully this isn't a one-time thing. Hopefully Brian will be allowed to compete at WrestleMania and continue competing afterwards. Hopefully this will keep him from leaving WWE so he can re-sign with them and continue wrestling. Probably as a part-timer. I don't want to see him competing full-time again until we're sure he won't get seriously injured. So, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how things go. I'm, ha I'm very happy Brian's going to get back in the ring. I'm very looking forward to seeing what's going to happen, and hopefully it goes well. Uh, I guess the last bit of news is just looking over the lineup for WrestleMania. We have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. We have the, well, possibly the tag team match I just mentioned. We have the Women's Battle Royale. We have Kurt Angle, Ronda Rousey against Triple H and Stephanie. We have Cedric Alexander against... Possibly Drew Gallagher. I think he is going to face off against Alexander. We have Cesaro and Sheamus the Bar against Strowman. And I am hoping it's Samoa Joe. Charlotte Flair versus Asuka for the SmackDown Women's title. Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax for the Raw Women's title. The Miz versus Rollins and Balor. Three-way Intercontinental title. Rock versus Roman for the Universal title. And AJ versus Nakamura. For the WWE Championship. This looks like it's going to be a great lineup. It looks like it's going to be an awesome match. I cannot wait for it. Hopefully it will go well. Hopefully a lot of people will enjoy it. And hopefully this will. They will continue the momentum. Because last year. They had a good WrestleMania. A terrible main event with Roman and Undertaker. Hopefully this year it will be different. Hopefully this year we will get a good awesome WrestleMania. And hopefully they won't screw this up. Uh, but again, never say never with this company. And uh, I think that's pretty much get it, guys. I, I had some other stuff, but I decided, you know what? I think this is fine for now. I mean, the big news that came out of WWE right now was with Brian, so I'm happy with it. So can't wait for that. Hopefully it all goes well. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have a different opinion about what's been going on with WWE, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. And let me know what you also think about the moolah and uh, controversy and the Brian situation now. And if you think he should face off against Owens and Zami with teaming up with Shane. You know, just let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button, check out my Facebook page, check out my Twitter page. And also, if anybody lives in the McAllen district, come check out the Wrestling Revolution every Friday night at the Historic Senior Array in downtown McAllen, Texas. At the Historic Senior Array. So, just repeating that again in case you all missed it. So, that's pretty much it, guys. Take care. I'll see you all next time. We'll give you more love and more entertainment. And if anybody's going to check out the Wrestling Revolution, come check it out, guys. It's a lot of fun. Bye.